Wednesday with another video. This one is going to be a bag video. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I go by Sherelle. And obviously, as you can tell, if you scroll through, I love hair, but your girl also loves bags amongst other things. And I wanna start incorporating them into my channel. So we're gonna get there, it's gonna take some time. But if you do enjoy and like what you see, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you already are subscribed, please make sure to turn those notifications on so you do not miss out on any of my videos. I will also make sure to leave links to my other bag videos so you guys can go and check them out. Five months ago, I came and showed you guys this beautiful Gucci denim tote that I purchased. And I still think the bag is beautiful. However, I found myself not really reaching for it like I thought I would. First, the interior was just making me super nervous, okay? Gucci's interior is very light on most of their bags. I did state that. I did get an organizer, but I still was kind of nervous about it. And even though I love that denim, it was a darker denim, so I found it a little bit hard to match in my wardrobe. Now, as you go through your bag, sometimes you'll notice that some things work for you and some just don't work at all. And what do you do when that happens? You sell it, you let it go. And I am not attached to bags like that to not feel that I can't sell them. Once I seen another bag on my radar, I decided to go ahead and upload pictures to Fashion File so that I can get a quote because I wanted to put that money towards the bag that I really did want. This bag has kind of been on my wish list for a while, but the price, <laughs> that price was up there and I was like, I don't know if I really want to do that, but as you can see what this video is, I did go ahead. The thing that I noticed about the Gucci tote on the corners of the bag, it already started showing some wear and tear and I had only wore the bag three times. Now, when I am not wearing my bag, I sit them on a shelf and I have it all nice and clean. Sometimes I'll put the dust bag underneath just so that it doesn't get any stains, just to kind of protect it even more. And I didn't notice it until I took pictures. Other than that, the bag was in pretty much new, excellent condition, but I was shocked about the corner wear. So I did notice on Fashion File when I went through the other denim totes that they had available, I noticed that they also had a little bit of corner wear. But yeah, that is why I sold that bag. And also, I had my eye on this beauty. This is the YSL denim puffer and guys I am in love it's vintage denim and I also have suede on the handles now I did notice that on other sites like Saks or I believe Nordstrom they sold the handles that had I think they were black handles but I wanted this color right here no I have not pre-treated the handles at all um I probably will eventually so that they don't get dirty super quick. But if you are worried about those suede handles, you might want to see if you can find the one with the black handles. This bag does have bronze metal hardware. You can see it on the logo and also on the chains. Also on the rings of this bag, it does say the company's name on it also. And you can't really see it from right here. I'll try to get some better up close video. In the front, it has kind of like this envelope style look. And it also has a magnetic opening. And I still have my sticker on. But just goes like that. Sometimes it depends on what's in the bag. Sometimes you'll have to kind of force it open a little bit. But I don't really have anything in here except for some stuffing. So I'm not having that issue at all. I really love the sound of these chains. I know it might be noisy for some, but it's a satisfaction for me. So it doesn't bother me at all. I wear this as a shoulder bag, and you can wear this as a crossbody, but I honestly prefer this size as a shoulder bag. Um, and the reason why is because it is a little bit bigger, so it kind of sticks out when you wear it as a crossbody. But I did wear it as a crossbody before when I was in Target shopping, and it didn't bother me at all. I am not new to the puffer line. I did have the black and silver mini. I feel like it was a little bit too small, so I sent it back a long time ago. I would love to add the small size in my collection, but I really wanted this size because 
I don't know. I like the small size, but I wanted something that would just carry a little bit more, especially because I did go ahead and sell that tote. The bag is very comfortable on. I have no issues with this thing on my shoulder. And I feel like it just kind of molds into your body because it is a puffer style bag. And I'm in a couple of purse groups on Facebook. And when I uploaded this picture to the YSL group, there's some questions asking, do I plan on spraying the bag? Am I worried about stains and all that other stuff? And to be honest, I am not. I don't really baby my bags, but I make sure to take care of them. So if I know it's gonna be pouring down, raining outside, I'm not gonna carry this bag at all. Um, if I know I'm going to go eat something messy like crawfish or, you know, boiled shrimp or something, I'm probably not going to wear this bag if I'm going to need to touch all on it and get in and out of it. The only thing I plan on treating is the suede handles because I don't want them to look old really fast. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like on as a shoulder bag. I definitely have enough arm room to get in and out of the bag I can easily just kind of do this and you guys see how it just kind of goes into the body without any issues can wear it down like this but I prefer to double the straps and this is what it looks like on as a crossbody you can wear it like this but I just prefer to carry it on the shoulder but it's even comfortable like this the chain is a little bit shorter versus the mini size it does come down a little bit longer but it's totally up to you on how you want to wear it so the first thing i want to put in this bag is my ipad mini i know it looks like a notebook but that's just the cover so i'm going to put this in and i'm trying to make sure i angle it at a way you can see it and you can see how much room i still have left so i would just take this little pouch in this pouch it just has some hand wipes, some sanitary pads, uh, lotion, gum, and there's also a mini bottle of Lysol. And I got this little pouch off of Amazon also, so I'm just gonna put that in there. I will put in my mini pochette. Next, I will put in my keys. Of course, I cannot leave home without my AirPods. Also have my hand sanitizer. I have my house key and my mace. Just throw in my comb and I will place this in that back pocket because I don't like to put anything too heavy in there just in case so it doesn't stretch out the pocket. So I still have a lot of room left. I would throw in my sunglasses. literally still tons of room for an umbrella or you can even throw in a bottle of water let's see if I can close this with no issues and I should be able to but because of the items in here I just have to kind of tug it a little bit more to open it up and it also does have some weight to it with all this stuff in there so just be mindful of having heavy items um, if you don't want it to lose its shape because of the heavy items, then like I said, you can definitely see if you want to put an organizer in there. But I try not to throw this much in there if I don't have to. Like I wouldn't put a heavy bottle of water or anything. Um, but this is the most that I would pack in this bag. Overall, as of right now, I'm very happy with my purchase. I love the look of this bag. It is very comfortable. Like I said, I would love to purchase a small size in the black and silver because I don't have any black and silver bags in my collection at this moment. And it's just really a nice bag. Very easy for me to dress it up with anything. Right now, I just have on sweats. And if I wanted to walk out the house like this, I definitely could with this bag without worrying, you know, about it clashing too much. And also watch other videos to help me with my decision. My friend does have the mini denim puffer and she loves her bag. And also I love to watch Marquita LV Luxury and she helped me make the decision on buying this particular size because I realized not too bad as far as the size goes because I thought it would just be too big, but it's actually perfect. If you guys enjoyed this video, 
video and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below also do not forget to subscribe to my channel once again turn those notifications on share and like this video and i will see you the next time bye guys